What I shall do now is rewind the film. And then, all being well, we are ready to go for a, uh, a tape, a recording. Now we sit back and think, what a wonderful piece of work. And doesn't it look good? OK, let me just find my cues and start points. Flip a switch there. We have a device in the, in the equipment bays which interfaces the Telecine machine to the edit controller. And as far as the edit controller is concerned, the Telecine machine appears and behaves like a Beta SP videotape recorder. So that's what the edit controller thinks it's controlling. I have a Digibeta tape already queued up in the recorder. So all I have to do is press record. And here we go. It all runs up to make a frame accurate edit. And now we can sit back and luxuriate in the results. The object being to deliver on tape a complete unbroken recording of the film. We have two monitors in, in front of us. Uh, the left hand one is showing me the output of the Telecine machine. And the right-hand one is a confidence replay, if you will, from the Digibeta recorder, so that I can check that I am actually recording what I think I'm recording. Uh, and the black and white monitor on top is the character's display from the video recorder. Above the left-hand monitor is a, uh, a waveform scope, which is showing me the red, the green, and the blue components as they come out of the Telecine. So that, that is a guide to me for the grading process and it helps me to ensure that the, um, the colours are neutral and natural and I'm not clipping any low lights or highlights. To my right here is the character display from the edit controller. So on there I can see the cues that I've put in for the, uh, the edit points and um, the progress of, of the operation, whether I'm in assemble edit or insert and video and audio and so forth. And here we are, we're coming up to the end of the piece. So I'll just wait for the last punch hole to go through, which there it is, and we are done.